And I made this video to give everyone a high level overview of what the consumer price index is, what's driving inflation, and what is driving these record high CPI numbers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Beat of Business with me, Ravi Wadden, and today we're gonna to be talking about everyone's favorite topic, inflation. Earlier this morning, the Bureau of Labor Statistics came out with the Consumer Price Index, or better known as the CPI, and US inflation hit a three decade high of 6.2%. In a nutshell, the Consumer Price Index, or CPI, measures the change in prices paid by consumers for goods and services, and the annual percentage change in the CPI is used as a measure of inflation. So on average, things are 6.2% more expensive today than they were one year ago. Now in this video, I will briefly tell you what the CPI is, what contributed to the CPI increase, and we'll talk about why inflation is happening, and I'll give you some of my thoughts along the way. And if you could do me a quick favor and hit that thumbs up button below, it would be greatly appreciated. And if you haven't listened to my new song, The Crypto Song, go and check it out. It's available on all streaming platforms, including Spotify and Apple Music, as well as this YouTube channel. It's awesome, and it's a song about crypto that I know you all will love. I wanna start this part of the video by explaining what the Consumer Price Index is, because it's important to know, and I'll try to explain it clearly and efficiently in under one minute. In a nutshell, the BLS, or the Bureau of Labor Statistics collects prices of food, clothing, shelter, fuels, transportation, doctors and dentist services, drugs, and other goods and services that people buy for day-to-day -day living. Prices are collected each month in 75 urban areas across the country. Now this includes approximately 6,000 housing units and approximately 22,000 retail establishments, including department stores, supermarkets, hospitals, gas stations, etc. And based on the data and information that is collected, the consumer price index either goes up or down based on the prices paid by consumers for goods and services. So if people are paying more for food, clothing, shelter, and transportation, the consumer price index goes up. And if people are paying less for those same goods and services, the consumer price index goes down. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the consumer price index in a nutshell. And since last month, the CPI is up 0.9%. And since last year, the CPI is up 6.2%, which is its highest year-over-year -year gain since December of 1990. In 1990, George H.W. Bush was president. The Pistons were the NBA champs. Joe Montana and the San Francisco 49ers were the Super Bowl champs. And Janet Jackson had the best-selling album in the country. Ladies and gentlemen, 1990 was a long time ago, and that's why today's CPI numbers are a big deal. All right, well, on a serious note, what were the main drivers of this massive increase in prices across the country? Well, here's a chart that was published by the Bureau of Labor Statistics earlier today, and it shows that over the past year, the cost of food is up 5.3%, Energy costs are up an astounding 30%, with gasoline prices up 49.6%, and fuel, which includes things like propane and kerosene, is up 59.1%. Electricity costs are up 6.5%, and utility gas service is up 28.1%. Commodities are up 8.4%, and the prices for new cars are up 9.8%, and the prices for used cars are up a whopping 26.4% since this time last year. Literally, the only thing that is cheaper now compared to 12 months ago is medical care commodities, which are down 0.4% over the past 12 months. And on a side note, if you still haven't sold your used car, right now is a great time to do it. So go ahead and watch this video after you watch this video. But I would love to hear from all of my subscribers and all of you watching this video. How has inflation impacted your day-to-day -day lives? And I would love to hear your feedback and your thoughts in the comment section below. Now I know that for my wife and I, everything seems more expensive, whether you're going to the grocery store or you're going out to eat or you're getting gas. I mean, prices for everything are noticeably higher than they were only a short time ago. Now there are many things that are contributing to the rise in inflation. You know, today's inflation numbers can be attributed to substantial wage increases, labor shortages, low interest rates, government monetary policy, 
and supply chain issues, just to mention a few. And to be honest, it's impossible to get a clear picture of inflation because there are just so many intermingled factors. Now, an obvious trigger has been the pandemic, which generated big shock waves that have cascaded into smaller waves, and these smaller waves just keep on coming. On one hand, you have labor shortages, which are contributing to higher wages, but higher wages get deteriorated when the price of everything around us is increasing, thus reducing our buying power. And even today, people are hoarding supplies in order to avoid inflation, and that only puts upward pricing pressure on the rest of us. And if you don't think people are hoarding supplies, just go to your local Costco. I mean, toilet paper and other household items are hard to come by at Costco, but if you go to Target or Walmart, there is plenty of the same items. Now, this might not be a leading indicator, but it's definitely an indicator that I am witnessing firsthand. We've got huge shipping backlogs at major ports. We've got a shortage of truck drivers to transport cargo. We have 4.3 million people who voluntarily quit their jobs in August, and a further 5 million people who have left the labor force since the beginning of the pandemic. I guess what I'm trying to say is that you can't really blame or pinpoint inflation on one specific factor. Like I said earlier, there are so many different factors contributing to inflation that only time will tell how things play out. Inflation is the number one concern on every investor's mind these days. And to be honest, inflation is on everyone's mind, whether you are an investor or not, because we are all impacted by it. And right now, the impact of inflation is higher than any other point in my lifetime, and there is a lot to be said about that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I made this video to give everyone a high level overview of what the consumer price index is, what's driving inflation, and what is driving these record high CPI numbers. I hope you know more about inflation and the overall economy after watching this video than you did before watching this video. And with that, I'm gonna call it. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time. And a reminder, if you haven't listened to my new song, The Crypto Song, go and check it out. It's available on all streaming platforms. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy some Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. I'm gonna buy some Ether, Ether, Ether. I'm gonna buy some Dogecoin, Dogecoin. Shiba, 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 I'm gonna buy some When Bitcoin hits 500k, that's it, I'm retiring Not working another day, I'm just playing, I'm just saying